What's up, everyone? Uh, so before we start the episode, I just want to do a really quick uh, sum up of what this was. Uh, talk to our good friend, Alex Velti, who's a member of that pitch. He landed another placement with us this month. He's an awesome dude from Conway, Arkansas. Awesome producer and kind of switched it up a little bit. This week, we actually talked about life, mental health, balancing just you know how to pursue a production career. Uh, we talked about like taking off days and actually investing time into your life, your family, just everything that's actually important. Anyways, he's a really good dude. Uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy this episode and cool. We'll get to the show. Welcome to the That Pitch Podcast. The That Pitch Podcast helps music producers and artists tap into the world of sync licensing, publishing, music business, and more. So if you are tired of trying to make it and you're more interested in making a living, then you are in the right place. The That Pitch Podcast is brought to you by ThatPitch.com, the number one music licensing tool for producers and artists. I'm your host, Mark, the founder of ThatPitch.com. Now let's get into the show. Alex, what's up, dude? What is up? How you doing, Mark? Um, so we, I just tried uh, changing things for our editor, Al, and I tried playing an intro video and it didn't play. So uh, sorry for that awkward moment, Alex, uh, but welcome. Hey, I live for the awkward moments. Dude, my life is just a series of awkward moments. Um, <laughs> anyways, if you're uh, listening for the first time or you've listened before, uh, this is Alex Velti. He is in Arkansas. He's an awesome producer and he actually uh, landed another placement with us. Uh, this month he's killing it um Thanks, and man. we're we're gonna listen to that later but dude labor day was yesterday yep and you said that you had a great weekend you didn't really do that much and i kind of worked and i'm kind of exhausted mm. today and you're f- refreshed and, and doing well um i think here i think we should talk about this sort of stuff because yeah um Everyone listening is a producer or artist, and none of us take time off. I feel like we're all workaholics, and we all kind of work ourselves into the ground. Mm-hmm. Um, and you seem like just such a healthy individual. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, man. It's not always, but I, I try. <laughs> Dude, no, seriously. Every time I talk to you, you're just like so full of energy. Everything's going great. Bro, ta- so you said like this weekend you actually you made it a point to actually like take some time off. I feel like we should talk about that. <laughs> yeah, you know it, it was interesting. I so uh, I don't know if you've met Graham Cochran. We may have talked about him before. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But so I remember listening to a podcast episode of his, and I remember him saying he's like, "Man, when I was on food stamps, when I had like." just crisis moments, I still had to learn how to take a day off, which like that blew my mind. And I was like, okay, so like if he took days off, even when like everyone else would be like, no, dude, like you got to work 24 seven, you know, to, to stay afloat. I was thinking, man, I think I need to do that too. Like, <laughs> you know, and I'm not, I wasn't in near as bad as of a situation as he was. And so I really started just taking days off like labor day memorial day uh fourth of july i worked this year and i i really shouldn't have i woke up the next day exhausted and everyone else was so happy and excited (laughs) i'm just thinking yeah i you know i need i need my holidays i need that it's just good to as my brother-in-law says work from your break not work for your break oh that's good do you do you think that there's like a workaholism issue within our industry Oh, dude, absolutely. A hundred percent. And I think, I think it's always benefited me when I find, especially when I got married to finally just go, okay, we're going to take a step back. We're going to, we're going to take a day off. And sometimes it's not a holiday. Sometimes it's, it's what I call personal development days. And mm. I will camp out at a coffee shop. I'll read a book, you know, sometimes a business book. Uh, sometimes it's, another book and it's just a day for me to clear my mind and almost get antsy again to do music it's it's almost to get re-excited about doing music because i've in a way held myself back from from doing it and so i get re-excited again and it's energizing yeah it's it's kind of funny um so a lot of my close friends and actually a lot of people on that pitch to know that i regularly try to backpack um so oh, nice like, like this this past year, I went to Panama. I went to France. Um, so my fr- my wife and I we went to France, but 
before that, uh, we went, I went to Panama with a couple buddies mm. and, um, up until that point, I'd just been, you know, like in a workaholic stupor, just like, you know, 12 yeah. hours a day. It was just kind of insane. Like, mm -hmm. um, you know, because whether it's just, you know, you're producing or you're building a publishing company or you're doing something uh -huh. with the music business or something, you're, I think the mentality in, in our industry is if you're not working, somebody else is, you know, mm. and it's like, take every single opportunity you can. Yeah. Um, and, uh, it's kind of funny because when I, when I travel, um, it's kind of like the only time that I actually relax where it's, it gets to the point where I come back and like all my friends barely recognize me because I'm basically a hippie and I don't care about <laughs> anything. <laughs> I just like, don't give a shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There but, we go. You know, it's, it's hard to set those boundaries too, because mm. I feel like music is such a, a part of us that yeah. if we're not doing that, it's like, well, what else are we doing? You know, mm. like, like, I mean, I don't really have many hobbies except traveling. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. You know, and it's, it's interesting too. Um, I, I, and maybe this is a question for you. Do you think, that people work themselves to death because of a scarcity mindset, you know, versus an abundance mindset. Yeah. I, I think uh, our industry is filled with a lot of people who are here by, um, I think a lot of people pursue the arts, whether it's music or mm -hmm. visual art or, you know, even ballet, whatever. You get really serious about it because a lot of times you have a lot of suppressed emotion or whatever with mm. other things. So you just get obsessed with some sort of form of expression. Yeah. And that work that like whatever you're doing, essentially that becomes you. Yeah. You know? Oof. So there's not really a great way to separate yourself from it. Um, yeah. And what ends up happening is like a lot of times um, the music, the work, everything that becomes your happiness in a way mm. where really it should, you know, art in itself should be an expression of the rest of your life. Yeah. You know? Um, but I think we all tend to just like, you know, uh, you know, just get in the studio. We're there for like mm -hmm. 10 hours a day or something, <laughs> just working on stuff. If you're touring, it's like, it's all encompassing it's in your entire life and yeah. so like what's funny is a lot of times you have to tell yourself you really need to carve out time mm -hmm. um but yeah i don't know it's 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 i don't know when we were just talking before this you were like yeah man i had a great weekend i like took some time off it was mm -hmm. awesome like i made it a point to take time away and i'm feeling so refreshed i'm like yeah what a rare situation like i don't <laughs> know many people who can admit that they do that regularly, <laughs> man. Well, you know, and the thing is, and I've been going just transparently, like counseling has been awesome for me. Uh, yeah, started I going go again. It's awesome. Dude, hell yeah. Yeah. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, and so I remember not too long ago, my counselor saying, man, like what seeds are you planting in your life? I was like, what do you mean? And he said, well, you know, you got music, but what else do you do? And I said, well, I, I love cars and coffee and hanging out with my wife and traveling. And he said, well, how much time are you giving to that? And I said, Oh, well, huh, I guess I could be giving more. <laughs> and, and basically right. he was kind of calling me out saying, man, you know, you have other things you, you like to do and you do music because you want it to give you freedom to do other things. So why aren't you taking advantage of that freedom? And so I take weekends off. I, I really do. I, I don't work on music on Saturday or Sunday for, monetary purposes. I, I mean, I'll just goof around and have some fun, but I really try as best as I can to take weekends off Sunday, my wife and I Sabbath, uh, just out of our faith. And it's great. It's awesome for us. Yep. It's good to like actually set those boundaries. So when you are working on music, you're a hundred percent back. Oh yeah. And so a client doesn't yep. call me Saturday at 9 PM and say, Hey, uh, just checking on, see if you got that mix done. I'm like, I, like leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> yeah. yeah no, I totally get it, man. Mm -hmm. What's well, cool, man. Um, yeah, I, I, again, like, I think it's such a rare thing that within our industry, we're able to set those boundaries. Um, mm. So I think a lot of people should try more. And I'm also like, you know, speaking to myself, it's like, wow, like 
you know, I should be able to, I should be taking off more time because it, it's, it's just hard when you're like obsessed with what you do. Like yeah. you're so excited about it. Oh yeah. You well, know? It's so much fun. It really is a lot of fun. So are you, do you do, you don't do any sessions on weekends or anything like that? You specifically. Yeah. yeah I, I keep as close to banker's hours as possible, which <laughs> has awesome. like, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's driven away some clients. It definitely has, but the clients that I have kept, I'm a lot happier with. And my mental health is just a lot better working Monday through Friday, pretty consistently daytime hours. And, and it's made me be more creative about finding different kinds of work, like, like mixing and, you know, doing lo-fi production and stuff like that. Well, it's interesting. Cause like you're really, uh, designing the life that you want and then music mm -hmm finds its place within it. And I, I yes. feel like, you know, the majority it's like, I want to do music full time and I'm going to sacrifice the rest of my life to do it. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's a cool approach, man. It's very life design oriented, which I definitely appreciate. Thanks, man. I, uh, I don't know if you've read anything you want by Derek Sivers, but no, dude, oh, you got to read stuff. that book. It's, it really was, it was a big part of why I, shifted a lot of the things I did. My, my marriage had a part to do with that as well. But when I read that book, he was like, yeah, I've made decisions that bettered my life. And my business kind of came second to that. And it worked really well. He still built a multi-million dollar business. So that's awesome. <laughs> there was um, a book that really set me off like early on called The Art of Nonconformity. Oh, by Chris Gillibo. Okay. It's kind of a similar thing. It was very like, Hey, what do you want your life to look like? Include mm -hmm. all of these things. How do you design your day? So all of that becomes reality. And it's not like this woo woo, like just manifest it, bro. It's very <laughs> like, Hey, put it all together. Um, mm. you know, That's cool. actually see what you want this to look like. And there's probably just things you can be doing daily that you know, subsequently that all of that stuff will happen. If you just do these certain things, <laughs> that's awesome. You know? So I'll check that out. Yeah, man. Love it. Well, um, love this beautiful self-help mental health yeah. catch up, dude. <laughs> there we go. Here we um, go. No, this is awesome, man. Yeah. I, again, I kind of just wanted to touch on that because I think it's very rare where people actually talk about taking a break. Yeah. You know, realizing that like music is part of your life. It doesn't have to be this thing that you do. 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. In fact, you'll probably be a lot more productive if you invest your life into other things as well. So I love that, man. Oh yeah. Very, Dude. very good balance, bro. I, I dig it. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much. I have a lot of good mentors that help. So my man, well, listen, uh, let's listen to the track that you placed, uh, this right past on. month. Um, so this was a lo-fi track. Let me see the name of it real quick. Um, downtime. Sick. Yeah. All right, let's give this bad boy a listen. And cool. here we go. Let's hit it.
Dude, love it. Super simple. Hey, thanks, man. Uh, enough parts going around where it can be used in different places. And just, again, really simple. Like, cool, cool. Fantastic for <laughs> dialogue. About, it was like the same track as last time. It's just super simple backbeat, dude. I love it. <laughs> thanks, dude. I, I appreciate that. I, I remember reading, I think it was either you or Enoch. I think it might have been Enoch that was posting some guidelines in the producer land community on Facebook. Like, hey, don't overthink this. Like, the ones that are going to place are not going to yeah. be the the crazy cacophony of just your musical talent. It's it's going to be the stuff that's going to serve. And that was really helpful yeah. to adopt that mindset. Yeah, I think the, the music that does the very, very best in sync is the stuff where there's not a bunch of crazy stuff happening. It's just, hey, this is for somebody else to use to help them shine. Yeah. And I think that's a hard part for <laughs> people to realize. Sometimes. Oh, totally. Well, including myself, because it's like, oh, there's oh, like, yeah. all this cool stuff I can add, but it does you don't need it, you know? Mm. Less is more, so. Yeah, which that's hard. It, it's it's so much harder to make something, and I'm not perfect at it. I, I know I've submitted a couple that I'm probably, yeah, that's, I don't think that's going to place anytime soon, <laughs> but <laughs> there's, uh, there's something I think I'm learning. It, it's just the servant attitude and servant mindset within music and that's really, I think, been very helpful to try to... I guess to try to really embrace. Yeah. Just about helping others, essentially. Like if your music yeah. can serve a purpose, it's going to serve a purpose. If it's mm. only about your own stuff, like how much, you know, people can enjoy it maybe for entertainment, but like it may not get it, get as much usage if it's to help, you know, a film or something like that. So I love that, man. Dig it. Mm. My man. All right. Well, Alex, dude, uh, you're back. I'm assuming you're going to be back again. <laughs> I'm pretty soon. I hope so, you're, man. I really hope. You're killing it, man. Thanks, um, dude. We actually, we actually had two booked today. And I was like, yeah. dude, let's just like talk once. Like, we're good. <laughs> like, let's just chat about cool. all, the, all the shit you're up to. <laughs> right on. I figured uh, once would be good. I was like, I don't know. I'm filling out this form. Let's see. <laughs> no, I mean, dude, you're, you're killing it. I'm assuming that we're going to be talking again soon. <laughs> Dude, thanks so oh, much. Yeah. I love talking to you, dude. This is this is fantastic. Such a, dude, so good for me. We'll we'll do we'll do it off air once. Uh, just you know, well more than once. Hit me up. Uh, I'm cool. Every everybody knows in the crew that I'm like the most accessible person. So love that. Love that. Man. Hell yeah. All right, bro. Well, cool. Uh, Alex, thanks for uh, being on here today. Um, any pluggables uh, where people can find you if they want to license your music, if they want to meet you, if they want to learn from you. Where can they meet you? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm pretty active on Instagram. It's just at Alex Velty Music, and yeah, I mean that's the that's the main place people can find me. I love talking about this stuff. I love talking life, mental health, work life balance, and then I'm starting kind of on the pluggable end. I'm starting a lo-fi project, just kind of an artist project that oh, yeah. people dig. Uh, it's called Romans with an X, so R X M A N S. And I'm going to be releasing some music under that. And I don't know. I'm just going to see where it goes. I, I It's just a passion project, something I really... It's tracks that I've produced that I'm like, I don't think I can license this, but it's fun. So <laughs> Hell yeah, be dude. on the lookout for that. And just reach out. I love talking to people so much. It's my favorite part of this whole thing is just getting yeah. to connect with people. So I'm available, accessible, reach out. My man. All right, dude. Well, cool. Um, I guess we'll wrap it up today. You're the best. Thanks again, bud. Hey, you too, man. Take care.